Hello and welcome to Homemade Collectibles channel. This is the review of the custom Godzilla Destroy All Monsters 1968 Anguirus Posable Action Figure. This is a brand new homemade figure that's affordable. It is posable, detailed, and it's really cool. And this is a video review of it. It is um, available right now for a affordable price. And um, yeah, it's a really cool custom figure. So it does include a building to give it kind of a scale of how big this is. And just to add some accessories, um, since this uh, you know, Angers doesn't breathe any atomic breath or anything like that. But yeah, it's just the basic building right here. You can see the details added some blue and red and on top there were some details right there um it's a it is pretty solid quality so it's not gonna break it's not fragile or brittle um but it does stand up so you can face it whatever direction you feel like now let's take a look at the main figure itself angurus um this is a really cool figure zoom in on the details right there um this figure was a bit of a challenge to create the casts for uh, the color selection and try to make it look like that 1968 figure. Um, it has very, um, especially with the head, we tried to capture that head for that 1968 uh, uh, Angurus. And this is a character that is popular but it hasn't been done for like so much as like King Ghidorah, Destroy, uh, Space Godzilla. So yeah, please um, support this creation by purchasing one for yourself for an affordable price. We know inflation is really bad. So, you know, with the cost of the materials that are needed to make this figure, the paint selection, the color selection, making the cast, the glues, we need the, um, supplies and need to create the articulation it takes time and the price is you know is created based on all these various factors and we still want to make it affordable so we you know I, we want to make more of this stuff we want to make um you know shimo from godzilla x kong or the um the serpent creature from godzilla x kong or suko or uh, maybe another classic Godzilla character like Orga, or super possible Orga to purchase for yourself. So if, you know, these are bought, then we can make more and improve. And, you know, if also feedback helps a lot too. So let's take a closer look at Angurus. Here is the head sculpt right there. You can see the teeth um, are actually separate pieces. We wanted to basically um, mold uh, sculpted to make it accurate but also it articulate because the jaw does move and one real cool feature about this Angus is the tongue is actually sticking out just like in that suit so and there's also some you know artistic liberties to make it you know our own you know make it give us some personality and character for Angus so you can see those really cool horns up there you can see the inside of the top and the bottom of the jaw looks really organic and cool and gnarly, you know, as a kaiju. You can see the neck right there is really cool. There's three points of articulation in the neck. And then you get to the legs, the, the arms here, the arms and the back legs are really detailed as well. You can see the claws right there, their own separate sculpt. And the body and the the you know the ankylosaurus kind of top right there now this was also a challenge is to some give it a articulation in the crouch area you can see there is one two segment joints so when you crouch the figure right we want to make sure that this looks organic but doesn't get in the way so you can see how nicely it collides together without damaging the you know the top pointy pieces so we our engineers made sure to do that um, just to give it a better crouch because we also want these to be posable as possible but also not too 
you know, out of control. You can see the other side of Anguirus. There is the top right there, the bottom. You can see the Toho logo there. You can see all that nice detail right there. The tail is also really cool. It's got um, one, two, three, four points of movement. You can organically bend the tail like that or bend it uh, up like this. So nice organic articulation. And the tail is detailed as well. All the spikes there. Really spiky character. So it's got all the spikes right there. You can see the end of the tail. Both are a really cool figure. Um, uh, another thing, key factor for this anger is that we want to make sure is that the suit, um, the back legs, right, are folded down. They're, this is how the suit looks, you know, with those back legs you know, kind of the knees are down on the ground. So we had to make sure we wanted to actually do that, but also if you want to have the Angerus figure standing in all fours, you can do that as well because there's articulation joint right there. But you can see, as I'm showing off, you can um, have Angerus displayed with the knees on the bottom, just like the classic Angerus 1968 or you know simply just pose those legs and then articulate them forward you can have it standing like that show off on the other side oh, this one there we go so have it standing, you know, that's pretty cool. That's really awesome. Let me zoom out a little bit. So the figure does have articulation, points of movement, 18 total points. Jaw can go up and down. There is an articulation on three joints. You can crouch the head like this. Can't look so much up, but it's more for the crouching down. And then there's also an articulation here where you can actually swivel the head, make him look side to side. But not all the way due to the, uh, the top of the head. There is a double joint crouch, but because of this, there are limitations, but it is there. Each of the arms and the back legs has two points. You can swivel the arms like this. And then actually the, the front arms, you can bend the uh, uh, arms forward. Same thing on the other side. But then the back legs, of course, you can bend them back like this to give you that alternative um, style. And then the tail, of course, I showed you. I'll show you again. It has um, four points of movement. And then there are the segmented joints. So, yep, this is a really cool Angers figure. Um, please support our small little channel by subscribing, commenting down below what you think of this item, what do you think of our other um, videos, what kind of videos you want to see, and share this video with your friends. Also, please, please check out the link below this video to see more details about this item. If you got any questions, feel free to message or comment down on the, on the YouTube comment section. And please make a purchase of one. We also take offers as well, but it depends on how much you ask for. 
This will be packaged on its own unique card back. There is a photo listing of that, of that link below. It is on our eBay store. Please, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And once again, if you have any more questions about this, um, let us know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and have a good day.